you know, of all the empires that fall, the one that I really don't want to see fall is that of the book, the written, fact-checked book. Um, with the internet, it gets so easy, and I certainly have fallen victim to it a few times, um, misinformation. And so for that reason alone, um, it's important to read books. But there are other reasons, and for me, it's, it's a more personal thing. I mean, I still suffer from dyslexia. Um, it's just not as bad as it used to be. But if I get really stressed out and I'm trying to write, oftentimes it comes out looking like it's Chinese. Um, and the way I process things is certainly different. Um, my first encounter with a librarian, and I mentioned Pickle Puss from time to time. She was the headmaster's wife. She was this very rigid Protestant woman who would go through the books with a magnifying glass, making sure that there wasn't anything controversial um, in them, and, uh, you know, heaven forbid, something sexual. And I noticed that she would always check the books that I had read. A lot of them came in as donations. And I would notice those books leafing, disappearing. Um, I'm sure she probably had a bonfire at the end of every year. But, um, you know, that was my first experience, and this was at a time when I was trying to learn to read the way that other people did. Um, you know, and it would just get very messed up. I mean, my father spent a lot of money in the late 60s with what they referred to as remedial education for me, which really helped. Um, but, you know, it's... It amuses me. I have a few librarians in my life, and granted, it's a very conservative uh, profession, you know, but they'll talk about the stereotypical boring old librarian, and I'm like, you don't know the librarians I do. Um, Janet uh, had her PhD in, in library science, and in the early 60s, she was one of the first women to publicly burn her bra course she was dismissed from the library in central Pennsylvania that she was at after this incident um, you know and she told me one time she's like you know I don't care how conservative the librarian is you know a lot of them just live through what they're reading and you know of course working in that profession she would see uh, my friend Veronica too I'm like you know I, I think about the stereotype of the librarian as being boring these two friends of mine are, are far from boring and very enlightened. Um, and that's, you know, part of it. Um, you know, and this goes to both sides, you know, whether it's progressive or conservative. Um, you know, the ability to entertain an idea that you may never agree with is a sign of an intelligent mind. Um, you know, over the years I've gotten criticism from people for, you know, some of the stuff that I've read because you know, I am a behaviorist. I am always trying to find out the way things and people work. Um, you know, and, and it's like, in, in one case in particular, she hasn't picked up a book in 20 years. Um, the problem that I have with the Internet is, you know, it encapsulates things. I mean, granted, you know, on my Facebook, I'm always putting things in short messages. And, you know, I actually learned something from somebody that never particularly cared for me. When he was like, do yourself a favor, make it shorter, because I can write epic, you know. Um, but I want to make the point, you know, I, I want to get the point across, and encapsulating is not a bad idea. You know, you're fed so much crap out there, just listen to talk radio for about ten minutes, if you dare. Um... Yeah, and, and you see these little signposts in the world, these little pop-ups with these blurbs that are trying to sell you shit you just don't need. Um, but one thing I think we all need, and we need to keep it alive, um, you know, and I have heard of people talking about closing down libra libraries, making them private, etc. You know, this just gets more into the whole concept of tools of the system trying to dumb down people so they'll be nice, neat little cogs, you know, fitting into the machine. Um, your best weapon in this life against ignorance is knowledge. You know, that's just common sense. And, I mean, I 
have gotten better at it. I, you know, with my eyes and the, the problems that I have um, with comprehension sometimes, I, I don't get through a book the way that I used to. But I try to pick up at least four or five a year. Um, it used to be when I was in the military, that's all I did. I read, I wrote, I made art when I wasn't working the grind of all I have to see. Um, you know, knowledge is power. And I guess the point that I'm making is empower yourself. You know, don't get caught up in, you know, especially if you're young, the whole thing where the kids pick on you because you spend a lot of time with your nose in the book. Having your nose in the book at that age uh, will help you survive. You know, even fiction has truth in it. Um, so that's my two cents for what it's worth. Uh, thank you for listening.